What's up guys? Thanks for watching. Nobody watches your videos. <laughs>
And um, for this, for this phase, I don't even like to um, get into the details. Like this blue, I didn't even end up using. Uh, the key thing is just to get a ballpark of um, of the his shape. <clears throat> I think. Yeah. So yeah, la di da. I'm just going on and on. Um, I'm using the lasso tool. I don't even use a brush here because I have a tablet, a drawing tablet, so I'm very accurate. I can do this. If you're doing this with a mouse, I highly recommend using the Bezier pen tool, um, not the lasso or the brush. Use a brush if you if you need to. And see, I've already I, I adjust um, the base color to a very muted light color um, before I apply the sh the shadows. Because I want to be able to see what I'm doing. If the under color, if the, the under color meaning the blue was too dark, then believe it or not, these shades that I'm putting in would be very dark. So it's looking this way because it's playing with the colors underneath it as well because of because of the hard light I believe I'm using. So the shadows play with the colors underneath. So if this beer was red the shadows would have a red kind of um, tint to it. And really this is the secret of cell shaded painting. Um, you don't color pick from the blue and choose a darker blue. That's how I used to do it and it just takes forever. You, you do it this way. And um, I think at this point I realized that <clears throat> the beast wears blue underwear like a weirdo. Like if you had blue skin, would you choose to wear blue underwear? That's kind of weird, right? <laughs> It actually reminds me of this one time at work where I wore um, a tanned shirt that looked like my skin tone and everybody that walked by me thought that I had no shirt on. It was the most awkward thing and I couldn't go home and change because I lived so far away. It was embarrassing. I just had to suck it up. But anyway, that's what essentially the beast is doing. He's like wearing blue underwear like a weirdo. So it looks like he's naked. I don't know. He's like a perv or something. But um... Who knows, maybe he's not even wearing underwear, maybe he's just like, he has no wiener or something. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, but like, yeah, or he calls himself the beast because he's like overcompensating for something, obviously. <laughs> so yeah, I'm adjusting the blue underneath it just to make it more punchier. And I didn't like the way he was like, um, I, I, it didn't sit right with me how he was just one tone, one color of blue. So I decided to go in and where wherever you see a lot of hair, I decided to go in and paint in darker blue. Another way you can do this is masking it out like the way I'm doing right here and hitting control U and adjusting the hue to just be darker instead of painting blue in. So already right there I've added a level of detail into the piece that wasn't there before. Um, right now I think I'm doing some research on the underwear and belt portion. Um, but yeah, so when I was painting those shadows in, because it was going so fast, I was also using the eraser tool. I don't know if you remember, but I used the eraser tool quite a bit in my inking video. And it, it, it's important here too, to kind of create those interesting lines that you typically wouldn't draw. So here I am, I'm putting a base color and I'm working on one layer. Like the color layer is just one layer underneath. It's not multiple layers. And um, looks like right now I'm going into the highlights. Uh, highlights is pure white set to 80% on an overlay. So I just go in there and brush in these highlights and it really pops everything out. It's so fun. Right now it's just mindless work. It's mindless activity. It's just having fun. Uh, it's just incredible. I think I adjust the opacity down a bit because it looked too stark in the case of the bees. And you're gonna wanna do that too. Like my presets, they're not set in stone. If it looks wrong, just go in and adjust the opacities and stuff like that. Or instead of using a hard light, go to overlay or soft light. Um, but the important thing to notice is um, you want to play with these filters because when you're putting the highlights, even though it's a solid white, it's playing with the colors underneath and it's popping everything out. Same with the shadows, it plays with the colors underneath it. And really that's a secret to cell shading. So I think that's about it. Um, yeah. Hope you liked it. All right, guys, that is it. I hope you guys found some use out of that. Um, I like it. I think the beast turned out really well, even with a limited color palette. Uh, it's a beast that I don't think anybody's ever drawn a beast like that before, so it makes me really happy. Okay, let's look at this piece a little bit closer.
And here's what I like to call the bonus round. It gives me an opportunity to kind of go back, look at the image, and maybe speak about things that I may have missed during the speed uh, paint. So coloring with blending modes is amazing and is very powerful. So you can use blending modes for the shadows and the lights. In the past, the way I would color is, say for example, Beast's fur. I would take that blue, I would adjust it to a darker blue, and I would use that as the shadow. Same with Rogue's outfit as well. Like for the green, I would just color pick that green and then use the, a darker green to create a shadow for that. The issue with that is you end up with a lot of inconsistencies and it just takes forever to color something. So by using blending modes, you're just choosing one color as the shade and one color as the highlights. And those colors, those shades and highlights play off the color underneath it to create a natural shadow. I really love doing it this way. If you guys, I don't know if that's still confusing. If it is, just feel free to private message me or comment below in the video and I can expand on it some more. But um, as far as, uh, as, as I'm concerned, that's the best I could explain for now. It's, um, it completely changed the way I color, changed my life completely. So yeah, it's just, it's just a closer look at the final piece all together and I think I like it quite a bit. So okay, I'm gonna close it off there. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. It helps me out a lot. It helps me. It helps keep me motivated to want to create. So, um, and I, I think I say that every time, but uh, I'm gonna keep saying it because it's like a nervous tick of mine now. You know, it's just something that I do. But um, okay. Anyway, thank you, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>